Okay. So this is why I wrote the play Extreme Weather, because I believe that art can open people's hearts and minds, and then they're ready to engage in the kind of heated debate that's going on at, a, at our festivals of conscience and in the lobby right now with James Hansen, where people are sharing ideas and arguing about the best way to reduce CO2 emissions into the atmosphere and getting on board with the program. And it's because they've seen a play. It's so wonderful that a play can turn people on to really wanting to move and, and, and be active in the world. And it's also wonderful that a play can, can memorialize and give, give credibility to and give uh, iconic stature to the struggle of climate scientists to tell the truth and what they've been through as they move from pure research into the public arena trying to present uh, solutions to the public. And Jim Hansen is one of the exemplars of this who began, he began as a researcher, he began as a, as a public figure, and now he's really an inspiration and an activist. Yeah. Well, you, you know, I, I started to say that he capitalism is not the enemy because we actually need economic development because we have to lift the half of the world which is still in poverty out of poverty. It will only solve the population problem if we do that. I just want to thank you, Karen, for doing this amazing work. Thank so you. Let's, yeah. And the, the commercial really is, we only have three more weeks of this run. Uh, please tell your friends. The best, uh, the best advertising for us is word of mouth. Um, so if you have people you can email and say, get down here, uh, students, you know, whatever, um, just uh, tell your friends about the play. We really want it to go on. We're trying to raise more money. We're trying to reach out to people. If you know anybody who has money who wants to be a theater producer, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they can join us in this effort. Um, we believe in the play. We're, we're very grateful for Jennifer's belief and Jim Hansen's belief, two major climate scientists who were in from the beginning helping me with the research. I was, you know, at, telling me, you know, sort of checking my, my facts and figures and making sure I was on the right course, but also two people who have actually been attacked uh, by email, phone calls, letters, articles, uh, been vilified for the for telling the truth, essentially, for research that, that they have done. And, and the, as an artist, I identified with that because artists get attacked a lot uh, for telling the truth. But I also felt that the scientists, it's not, the scientists are, are not only telling the truth, they're telling us that we're in danger. Um, and it's not even like Galileo, because in a way, you know, I just read today that 33% of Americans don't know whether the Earth goes around the sun or the sun goes around the Earth, right? It doesn't really matter very much because the, the, the sun and the Earth are taking care of it by themselves. But it really does matter when we start uh, interfering with the climate, which we've done. And, and so this is a new moment, I think, in human history that we are in together. And somehow, uh, if we're going to keep this beautiful world um, alive, we have to uh, understand our place in the scheme of things and change the way we're living.